to its traffic in today's video we will discuss the programming practice of chapter 9 class 9 computer science the first program is write a C program to find the area of a rectangle the land and wide of the rectangle are inputs means we have to take as an input land and wide and we have to find out the area for that first we have to open code block I have already opened it then we will create a new file for that we'll go to file new then empty file also we can press the shortcut key control shift and n after opening the new file we will save the file for that control and s and uh, we will select our location as area of a triangle so i am writing triangle file name triangle dot c and save it now we'll have to write the program first we'll keep header file include stdio.h this is the header file for standard input output after that main function int main we can keep the main function as void also we'll discuss this one in another video now we will need variable as we are calculating area so there might be sometime decimal points so we are keeping the variable as float f l o a t float now for land l for breadth or uh, what what we have uh, let's see the question we have to find the land and white and we have to find the area so i am keeping l and w for wide and area for storing area now we will ask a question through printf that uh, enter the land so print f within inverted comma we'll write enter land after that slash n now we will go to, uh, semicolon and go to the next line here we will write scan f means we are reading the number and within inverted comma we will write percent f because we are accepting float values or decimal values after that comma and we will write here m person symbol first that means location where i want to store the value and we will now write the variable name which is l now semicolon enter again printf statement printf here we will write enter wide then slash n slash n where i am using i think you have no uh, to enter a new line now we will write again scanf statement and here again percent f as we are displaying uh, accepting an floating point value comma and we are storing this value inside w variable now we will go to the next line here we will do the calculation means area equal it is l then into into discipline uh, sorry into symbol is represent as an asterisk in computer so we are writing asterisk sign then w semicolon now we have to display the result for that again print f statement here we will write area of the rectangle is percent f now here in place of percentage f we will display <coughs> the value of area so we will write comma area and after it as semicolon as our return type of the function is int so our program must return something so we will write return 0 then now we will save the file control and s and we have to run the program build build and run it will take little time to compile the program 
asking me to enter the land suppose it is 3.4 bread 7.5 area is 25.5 so this way we can calculate the area of rectangle now let's check the second question this is the code you can pause the screen and you can see it now we'll go to the next question question number f change the programming of example b.1 to accept integer from the keyboard using scanf function now we have to go to example b.1 let's move to the example b.1 <clears throat> this is example here uh, this uh, we to have total num1 num2 num3 num4 num5 variable after that we are calculating the average so we have to accept them from the user and we have to calculate the average means this program uh, numbers were given by the user only now uh, the programmer only now we have to collect from the user so how we'll do it let's see we'll go to the compiler we'll remove the previous code here only we'll write include stdio dot h then main function int main after that we'll declare a variable int num1 comma num2 comma num3 comma num4 comma num5 and we need one more variable for calculating the average so for that float average a v z semicolon now we have to accept the input so print f here we will write enter the value of num1 then then semicolon and we'll here write scan f statement scan f percent f as we are accepting uh, sorry percent d as we are accepting integer value and we will store it inside num1 variable num1 then semicolon and as we are repeating these two statement again and again for five times so we will copy these two line and we are going to paste it for four more times one time two time three time four time now we will change the value here instead of num1 it's num2 here also it's num2 then here it will be num3 and here also it is num3 then here it is num4 num4 and at last it will be num5 it's done now we have to calculate the average so we will write a v g equal within bracket we will write num 1 plus num 2 plus num 3 plus num 4 plus num 5 and for calculating the average we'll divide the addition by 5 now we will have to display the average so printf printf statement then we will write the average is as the average is stored in form of floating number so percent f and it is stored inside the variable avz so we will write comma avz and semicolon and the last line is return zero now first save the program by control and s after that we'll go to build and build and run
uh, at first line we have some mistake std dot is not required stdio now again build and run here something is wrong let's find out here we have not written num5 that's why num5 now let's build again value of num1 let it be 10 num2 20 num3 30 num4 40 num5 50 and the average is 30 so this way we can solve question number f pause the screen and see the code now we will move to the next question Number G, improve the programming example B.5 to check whether the student score pass or fail in individual subjects. Hint, use if close. Now, for individuals, uh, improve the programming example of B.5. Let's see B.5 what uh, program is there. This is the program of B.5 and here we are accepting marks of English, Science, Social, Maths, Computer and Total Mark. After that we are just saying uh, that we are accepting the mark and after accepting the mark we are just displaying the total mark. And for that now we have to check individually each subject, which subject the student pass or fail. So this will take a bit time. We will do it in next video. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye.